Hi guys, I'm Nikki Jackson and I am a self-employed artist. This is my Draw My Life art story so far. So I was born in England on a hot sunny day on the 1st of May 1980. I was an only child for 10 years until my brother came along in 1990. As a kid I loved to do all kinds of arts and crafts. I was always drawing, painting and my dad would buy me these really cool sets of Crayola, Crayola stuff and um, designer doll dresses and all kinds of fun crafty things. I'd even get really cool stuff when I went to the dentist and I'd get rewarded for um, being a brave girl and I would get given some really cool art supplies. So here's my favourite picture of me and my dad. We're sitting at my grandma's and we're doing some colouring. I love to spend time with my dad in this way, being creative and um, he was really creative as well. So one of the fun things we like to do, me and my dad, is to watch TV cartoons and um, pause them. Um, we'd record them and pause them and then we'd try and draw them. My favourite cartoons to watch were the raccoons, the snorks, come on you've got to remember those if you're an 80s child, and moomins. And yes, TVs really did look like that in those days. One day my dad and I decided we would draw um, some characters from the Snorks and I remember drawing the orange one. He was so cute. And if you don't believe me that this cartoon exists, check it out on YouTube. I'm sure you'll be able to find it. So one day after school we were going to go to my grandma and granddad's and um, at school I'd created this really cool painting. I was so proud of myself. It was of a zebra and I couldn't wait to show my grandparents what I'd done. They loved it. So this was the start of me creating lots of cool things like drawings and paintings and even short stories as well. I really enjoyed being creative as a child. I remember thinking that zebra painting was the best thing I'd ever done. So when I got a bit older and I was in high school I took GCSE art and I remember putting lots and lots of effort into drawing a really cool drawing on my um, art folder where I kept all my art and it was um, I was really into Forever Friends, the bears and I drew this elaborate design of um, like brickwork on on there with some cute bears. It took me ages and I loved every minute of it. And I remember me and my dad, we put some plastic clear film over the top so that if it rained it wouldn't get ruined. So in my art class at high school, I did um, a few projects that I was really pleased with. One of them was of a cat, it was like a lino print, we had a piece of perspex and we scratched a design into it and mine was a cat and I did all the little hairs and I also did the white rabbit as a pencil drawing and I was really really pleased with it. I loved art class, it was one of my favourites at school along with English as well. In art class I remember being rubbish at mixing colours and I'm still not that great at it now. We would have to use the powdered um, paints and I would just make such a mess and I would make way too much paint than I needed and it often turned out the colour that I didn't want. It was all fun anyway. I don't think the teacher was too pleased for me wasting art supplies. <laughs> 
So for my art GCSE project, um, we had to spend hours and hours and hours drawing in quiet and at that time I found it really really difficult. But my um, my drawing was based on Alice in Wonderland and I did the garden with all the faces in the roses. After school I went on to college and I went on to art design college. Here's me catching the bus. This was a whole new adventure for me in art and um, about to learn some really cool things. For the most part my um, college national diploma in general art and design was really fun. I really really enjoyed life drawing class, that was one of my favourites, not because of the naked people but because of the drawing and the skills that we learnt, that was really fun, we'd have big easels set up and big sheets of paper and charcoal sticks to draw with. I also really loved doing animation and illustration and I remember a project for animation where we did Swan Lake as a group and uh, I used scraper boards to create the start and end cards and um, we made ballerinas out of pipe cleaners and made a whole animation of it. It was really fun and we worked really well together. I was really pleased to be doing the end cards. It went so well that we got a distinction as a group. We were all really pleased. I remember thinking, I hope I can do so well in the rest of my projects. I remember really enjoying animation and illustration, but sometimes it was a struggle. I'd drawn a really detailed um, portrait picture of John Bon Jovi, one of my favourites, and my tutors lost it. I was so sad. I kind of lost my faith in the tutors at that point, that they couldn't care about my work. After that I'd done an animation that I was so proud of, I'd made this character out of plasticine and it was a baby in a nursery and I worked so hard at it and my tutor didn't like it. I was really sad. My negative experiences at college really made me sad and put me off even trying. After college, when I passed my course, I went on to try some art degrees and I really didn't enjoy it. I just didn't want to do contemporary art. So what did I do then? Well, I kind of gave up on art for a bit. I dabbled with crafts and I got some rubbish jobs. They were so boring. I didn't know what to do with my life. Then one day after a rubbish job I got let go of, I just thought, enough's enough, I am going to become self-employed and I am going to be my own boss. So I started my own craft company and I called it Cinnamon Creations. I did lots of craft shows and uh, sold my work online as well. I did candles, room decor, stitched pictures, cards, every kind of craft you can think of, I tried it and I sold it. This made me so much more happier. I once did a solo exhibition where I sold some encaustic art paintings and it went really well. Also in my art ventures, I had my own podcast called Prim Talk Radio, which meant primitive art talk radio. It was really fun, I'd interview people and we'd talk about crafts and it was really great. One day I decided to sell it, I was ready to move on to something else and I sold it for a really great price, I was so pleased. So I continued on to have lots of business ideas, trying things out, seeing what worked and what didn't. I had my own website and I'd redesign it all the time. I could never settle on the thing that I really wanted to do. In 
Then YouTube came around and I started watching videos, art videos. This made me really, really happy. One of my favourite people to watch at the time was Susie Blue. I loved watching her paint and I just thought it was fantastic. I'd always wanted to learn how to paint in a whimsical way and at this point I really started to learn how. I took lots of classes online and watched lots of YouTube videos. YouTube was amazing. I was so excited about all that I was learning. I would try different things out, try um, some folk art kind of painting, and I was really getting into the whole primitive style as well. Up until this point, the only kind of art that I'd really tried was more realistic portraits. Then something sad happened, both my grandparents died and I really thought about my life and where I wanted to go with it. I decided life was too short to put off your dreams any longer and so I decided I was going to be brave and I was going to create my first real painting. So based off of Susie's um, prompts I decided to have a go at painting inspired by the word home. Yay, I had done it. I had broke through my fears. All those negative comments that I'd heard in the past from old tutors had gone and I was going to go forward and be an artist. And I was going to paint at last. So I did. I've been painting ever since. And selling my work too. From that that year on, I was creating and creating and selling on places like eBay, my own website, and I also had a blog. I even started my own YouTube channel. I didn't do very m many videos to begin with, but I enjoyed it. So fast forward to today, I do have a YouTube channel that I regularly update now and this year I got my art into two shops which makes me really happy. They get lots of visitors and lots of sales and it's just one of the many ways that I'm selling my work now. This year has also been a big year for me because I put my fears aside and I went back and I decided to do my art degree at last. After all these years I found the right one and I'm really really happy. So that's my story so far. I'll be updating this video in years to come but thanks so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it.